Limitations, we've all got them. I've got them. Everybody's got them to a certain extent. But that's just it. That What is that a certain extent? How come some people have it more and some people have it less? How, how come people can sort of go past the limitations? How come certain people get stuck? They get stuck at a certain point. I think it's easy um, to refuse to understand the things that we don't understand. We refuse to understand or we refuse to believe the things that we don't understand. We refuse to believe the things that we don't understand. That's a better way of putting it really. And it's as if our own limitations um, through our own selective perspective and own person-centered ideology become then the measure of limitations themselves. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? Um, so we have this idea of boundaries or personal mountains or things that we think are impossible perhaps even. And then we give this generic outlook, this universal ideology to something then becoming limitation. You know, so many times I hear people saying, oh, it's impossible to do this, it's impossible to do that. Is it? Is it? That's the thing that, you know, I guess you've got to kind of question. Do limitations exist? Or is it just something that we just made up? You know, we get a lot of these speakers about jazz theory and jazz concepts and especially the books there's a lot of books out there that I come across every now and then or that students show me and when you look at these books they're quite intimidating and they're thick they've got loads of pages and loads of like examples of of all these different formulaic equations of how to go about learning a concept and it's as if they take something very simple and make it really complicated. And then if you get through that book, and by the end of the day, you've still got a part of your own mind still intact without having been overly influenced or overly dominated by the power of, you know, the suggestion of this book, you can actually see how simple a concept is, which you may even just end up using quite sparingly in your playing. That, that's not a very intelligent way to go about it, I don't think. Um, I don't think that's intelligence at all. What I think is intelligence is taking something very complicated and being able to translate it into something very simple. That's the right way about going, going about it for me. Um, and we do that by breaking things down, by fragmenting things, taking it slowly, step by step. And by doing that, you build up a familiarity, a familiarity of something. And the more familiar things become, the more of a current we seem to be gliding on, you know, towards whatever sound we want to desire to have and or ability to have of our own, for our own expression. Um... And it's like, I don't know, man. There's, there's so many simple things that are out there that are made too complicated. And there's no need for it. It's just to confuse, or it's just to sell another book, or perhaps it's just to get people thinking too much instead of feeling. But when we simplify things down, I mean, what do you want? You know, do you want a simple statement in your playing? that's going to be accessible, that's going to communicate, that's going to connect with whoever you're playing with and whoever's listening. Because by the end of the day, every year that goes by, we learn more. And we're complicated beings as they are already in our minds. You know, we're this mind that's just receiving information all the time. 
and this body and this soul. I mean, it's a holistic sort of trinity. And um, what do you want? Do you want to be the expression of that complexity? Or do you want to see through all of that, this light or simplicity? And when we have this simplicity intact and we can transmute it, we can translate it in, in our playing, in our improvising. When we have that, then we feel. We feel. We groove. Something has more soul. It has more sophistication. It's unexaggerated. And isn't that what music's supposed to be? Unexaggerated. You listen to Miles Davis, you know. Listen to any great player. There's a sense of unexaggerated expression. There's a, there's a free flowing essence of something beautiful about it. It's sparing. And it's like the course of life itself, or the cyclic course of, of life itself. You know, all creativity leads back to simplicity. All creativity leads back to simplicity.